fight just about to get underway here at the Sphere in Las Ready. Vegas, Nevada, DC. Ready. I feel like I'm on a Ready. different planet. This is the most special, unique venue we have ever called fights in. Let's see how it plays out. Beautiful kick there. Well, you don't want to say Khabib is falling in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Oh, now that's a kick to the body. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Khabib swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. And he caught the kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Misses with the left hook. Three minutes now to go in this one. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Effective jab there. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice takedown. Yep. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. McGregor gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Tries to work it into a takedown. He needs another two. What a land right there. The seminal blow of the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh! And a knee. Oh, a big left hand. Well, he's landed a few. Big uppercuts already. I will bet you a thousand dollars he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Lands another strike upstairs. And for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swap. He can't miss, J.A. And when you saw the swap initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic but a few more, and he's gonna find himself in a dire situation. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's gotta move his head, and he's gotta be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defense. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice crack there. All right, so that gets back to his feet. Got smacked by that strike there, but he doesn't seem phased. Now he's talking trash. Talking trash because he's on the wrong end of a great. Oh, yeah. I tried that right there. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show. Oh! Three minutes and change to go in round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, McGregor's now switching his stance. Oh, he's back up. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice body shot. Well, he's really. Oh. right back to the full mount here. Yep, got to be very careful there. And he will let his opponent stand up here. McGregor's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Whoa! And there it is! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. here inside the now world famous yeah, sphere in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ready. It opened late 2023 Good. at a cost of 2.3 billion. And it is the largest spherical building in the world. Let's see how the action plays out tonight. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, no feeling out process, folks. Here we go, edge of your seat action, right out of the shoot. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. <laughs> and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Chandler's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of a kick, he would go right into his takedown, and it worked perfection. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. The guy that's going forward is the guy that looks like. That is it! Oh! Woo! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He
Vegas, Nevada, DC. I knew you were not going to miss this. This thing opened late 2023. Too much fanfare. It is the largest spherical building in the world. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home run. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just... Oh, he landed. He hurt him. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Oh, He's hurt back. Right back. Right back. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. I don't want to Massive right hand. Lock him, shock him out of the shoot here. There it is again. Look at that. Back to his feet. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? Round one, if it's All right, ready to go round one here at Sphere in Las Vegas, Nevada. Every single fighter on this roster was asking on this Noche UFC card. And we only have so many slots. What a unique experience for all of these fighters competing here tonight. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Oh, nice jab. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. Oh, that's big. Get right here. Oh! Relax. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big power shot there. Nice shot by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, DC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by some... He's got to keep pressing here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, uh, big elbow. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, huge left. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? McGregor's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jumped up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Changing the position. Referee will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not. Oh, big, big shots here. Oh, the hard ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so, it appears. Hook shot lands. Nice punch to the head. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Nice. Nice. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. 
right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are... Oh, man, Anderson on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Back to his feet. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. Oh! He had him stunned. Oh. Big knee there. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh. Oh. That, that'll do it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, All right, so here we are, getting ready to go round one. Sphere open September 29th, 2023. $2.3 billion, and the first live sporting event to be held inside, of course, is a UFC live event. Ready? Ready? All right, here we go with Conor McGregor versus Justin Gaethje. And when Gaethje signed with the UFC in 2017, a lot of fight fans felt like it was an eventuality that he would fight Conor McGregor. Remarkably, we had to wait till tonight. Yeah, now we got to His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndondo. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Oh! You heard him again. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Gage is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments, and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. That hook was bad. Oh, my knee. Big right hand. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. About 25 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look from to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. And submission defense wins this transition. Swing and a big miss by Justin Gucci. And there it is again. 
targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not gonna move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Final seconds of the round. McGregor's lower jaw does not. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem. Like... Ready to fight? Ready. Let's All right, here we go with round two. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Huge kick lands again. Effective use of the jab there by Gage. Oh, huge hook. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Right now, it seems as though the referee has closed his distance, monitoring the action closely. I think there's potential to stop this fight through the swelling right? Yeah, it's only a matter of time. And it's in the reaction. Like, every time he gets hit now, he turns away. He moves away from the fight. If you're a fighter, you do not want to be avoiding the contact. But how can he not when he's been beaten this bad? So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. Nice. Oh, snaps his head back with that offering. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Good work, guys. Come on. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 55 total strikes now for Justin Gage. And landing with 37% accuracy thus far tonight against Conor McGregor. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take... Oh! Another hurt. He's hurt bad. Yeah, he hurt real bad. He's still hurt. Back to the feet. Just misses with that one. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found the Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Oh! Big uppercut. This is crazy round of fight. Oh, McGregor's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Oh! And that'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Early in the 
fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, and it's powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you that hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that he presents to him. Diaz is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Uppercut. And now he lands a combination. Superman punch now. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant point. Oh, yeah. oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Ooh, big shot lands. Hook to the head there by McGregor. Oh, that's the biggest shot to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, and now an uppercut. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Diaz. Nice shot there by the champ. Nice. Round two is next. Stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Lands a jab. All right, so there's that Nate Diaz left hand. You've talked about the sneaky power. That one looked pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's throwing it hard, but he's so accurate that when he lands, he can hurt you. Nate Diaz has a really good left hand, and it's all good. Oh, this one could be over soon. Back to the feet now. Well, we told you to keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start... Oh, what a connection right to the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Shots raining down. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their shots. Oh. That will do it! Huh? Holy smokes! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produce
So here he is, the man who has taken the sport by storm, Conor McGregor. You want to be mindful. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Now we're going. Oh! He hurt it real bad. Oh! Like that! Like that! Like that. He can't even stand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Gets up. The question is for how long? That one connected. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, beautiful level change. Knee on belly. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. That'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly... And how about the buzz in this arena and just the sheer volume from these fans as Conor McGregor makes his return here tonight. Now, how will he approach the early portions of this fight? That is the big question. We know he's had some quick finishes in his UFC career, but a lot of people think he'll want to feel this thing out and get his feet under him early. Oh, no good in that process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight. He's hurting bad here. Oh, McGregor's trying for a submission here. Oh, it looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. McGregor gets back up. Nice kick to the body. Frantic pace early on to this one. Dover's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice right hand. Oh. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, with authority, the body. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish that. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he's in the zone. Oh! Man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass. All right, here we go. Round one, Conor McGregor, Max Blessed Holloway. And I would think if you're Max, you got a lot of confidence given what you've accomplished since that first move. Oh, yeah, you understand and you recognize that you are a much different fighter. By beating Jose Aldo twice, right. beating Brian Ortiz,
King, and you take from all of those experiences and you apply them to this new McGregor fight. Oh, significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. Big shot to the head. Josh Emmett, he is headlined for the MMA leader. Obviously had a big win June of 2022 against Calvin Cater. And now the focus is on the finish. Forget risk management. He's going to go for it here tonight as he did against Calvin Cater. And he believes if he can get an early knockout, ideally in this round here, that he will be next to fight for the UFC featherweight title. Oh! And back to his feet. Back and forth we go, and early on, these guys get it after. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they've delivered. Big right hand there. Huge left hand. Oh, man, these are hard. Oh, nice elbow. So more output, at least in the early going. Straight hand there, beautifully done by him. Oh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh, yes, now we're going. Oh! Big knee there. Big right hand there. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the light. Oh, that's a shot to blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Now a knee. Oh, this is why he pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! We might get a stoppage here. Holy smokes! What a fight! Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Once again, is there any atmosphere in MMA quite like Conor McGregor fighting in this octagon? The Irish fans are going bananas. We'll see if Conor McGregor can take advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach here tonight. What a jump to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He didn't recognize it from high, and now he's gotten hurt bad. Now to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh! Oh, man, these fighters are training. Oh! Oh, I'm going. Big left hand lands upstairs. Well, this... Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me.
me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Well, did you ever think DC would be calling fights inside the largest right. spherical building in the right. world? What a special opportunity for these athletes to get the chance to compete in this setting here tonight. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Gets back to his feet. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Lands a big right hand early. I mean, these guys are loving the fly the pace that they're fighting at. Oh, you heard him again, bro. Pimlet's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Nice job by him defensively there. Going to the knee strike now. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or the Pretty good, but didn't sort of. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, oh big ground oh, strikes God. continue to land. Oh, good knee. Big left hand there inside. Oh, that is it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Ready, fight. Ready. Portuguese for a good night. And Charles Oliveira is hoping to hear that at night's end against Conor McGregor. What a fascinating lightweight matchup. Conor going to try to keep this fight on the field. He believes he has a decided advantage. I, I wish I knew Portuguese like huh. you, my brother. But let me tell you one thing, man. Conor McGregor feels like he has the advantage. He could possibly hurt Charles Oliveira. But does he really hold the advantage? We've seen so many great strikers get a hold of DuBronx and hurt DuBronx but not be able to finish it. Can Conor McGregor be that guy? Can that bomb of a left hand be the shot that shuts the lights off on Charles Oliveira? I don't know. I'm just excited for those questions to be answered. Fast pace here. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He has hurt. Massive good land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, big left. Oh, uppercut. Oh, oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. A lot of trouble. Now he's back up. Big right hand. Oh, Superman punch. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited. He's got to try to finish here. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Oh, my God. Yeah, man, 
crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Tonight, the Irish fans are going sick. We'll see if Conor McGregor can get off to his patented fast start. You know he controls distance well. We'll see how McGregor approaches the early going here. Oh, you can hear that thwack in the nosebleeds as the kickboxer lands a body kick early here in the fight against the box. I mean, this is the range that he needs to fight at. He doesn't want to be close where he's throwing hooks to the body and punches. Use those legs. Dig that shit into the body and try to slow down your opponent. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Great body kick there. Well, a few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Midway through round one. Oh, a kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best fit the fighters in the UFC. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action and work in this instance. Man, look at that jab right there. He doesn't make some adjustments. Bobby's not gonna recognize him. His nose is getting worse. I mean, he's getting better. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. His boxer is way too good to try to react to the shots opposed to getting ahead of it. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Hooker. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Nice jab by McGregor. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, it's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax. Ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw... Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to find that follow up kill. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he got hit again. All 
Jafar. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now is a ball. This could be it. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch or kick that will put your heart out. Hurt again. Oh, this could be over soon. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with a forward as the tide turns here. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook. Bell there, the round is over. He got knocked down just before you heard the horn. And of course, he's only got 60 right, seconds with right, which to recover. Right, Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. Bigger shots than that, all right? You're gonna shake this off, you're gonna come back, and you're gonna win. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard on a you ready to fight? Ready. Four. Round three of a possible five. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity. Back to the feet now. And now a left. Oh, beautiful combination. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, oh, the first first he steps in. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he champion and UFC lightweight contender Islam Akashev 
What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throw. Oh, and Anderson on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Ooh, head kick lands, was hurt. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. Oh! Both tough, both normal, both unwilling to take a step back. it up well. There's a ground and pound elbow to the body. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, head kick, bang. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Makashev's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Oh, nice left hook. Well, in terms of Conor McGregor's frame at lightweight or at featherweight, he really uses his length well. He has an outstanding reach. More often than not, he's going to have a reach advantage over the opposition, and he is taking advantage here tonight. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. you got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, this is just what you're doing. Like that. Back to the feet. <laughs> Nicely done. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Ooh, big shot land. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he'll get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's... Oh, 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 my goodness. What a fight. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. Two future UFC Hall of Famers, Conor McGregor certainly going to get in, and Tony Ferguson, the first lightweight to put a double-digit winning streak on paper, certainly could boost his case with a win here tonight. Yeah, the win of Conor McGregor pretty much ensures that Tony Ferguson is going into the Hall of Fame. These are two tremendous MMA athletes. Both guys know that in order to get to where they want to go, they have to win this fight tonight. I wonder what Tony's approach will be as he tries to take out the notorious one. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Oh, that's a huge connection here, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the play. Huge shots there! And a miss with the right hook. Caught the kick. Oh, big knee. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and he pushed his opponent back. Notice how he creates space and allows him to get back to where he's Ferguson swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. 
All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, that's good. Big right hand. Oh, big elbow. Oh, and now a big left hand. Oh, they're going at it here. Huge shot. This is such a crazy fight. Oh, yeah. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Oh, looks like he's going for an arm bar here. How tight is that? Good job by a chance there. Slide back up. Oh, he got to the spot. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. McGregor gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh my gosh, perfect execution on the Imanari roll, right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. All right, round one is over. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if... You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round two. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to receive that check. Oh, nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, big elbow. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage. Oh, he's, in he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get their horse, and it got right to the target. El Cuckoo is attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. to get some. This is big. That's big. Big head kick. <laughs> Might get the TKO here. Now he's back up. Great defense. That punch had no chance. So much. Oh! And that'll do it. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered. You ready to fight? You ready? So here is Conor McGregor yet again. You hear the Irish fans going bananas. There is no atmosphere in the fight game at present. Quite like Conor McGregor inside this UFC octagon. Immediately, Conor taking control here of the center of the octagon. Swing and a miss with that punch by McGregor. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is drinking four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it all. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. He loaded up there on that high kick. 
Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, he's a jump. Oh, how good is that? The diamond punch lands plus to the head. And how much more can he take? So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. That was perfect. That was that. Nasty body kick downstairs. Now some separation from his first position. A minute and a half to go in our opening round. Oh, you land, I land, is how we're doing here. Kickboxing 101. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Nice block. Oh. Ooh, diving punch. Right back. Right back. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Huh. Round two is next. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Now lands a solid punch there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Right hook to the head block. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. The cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's oh, right there the blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Beautiful. Conor McGregor gets back up here. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent has to go. Good combination. He knocks him down and maybe out. We didn't know we needed to this extent. Given Connor's distance management, his length, 
Do you expect Volkanovski to play the wrestling game tonight or what? Volkanovski is going to have to use some of the wrestling tonight. He's going to have to dart in and out. He's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. Seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Wow, huge head kick. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Volkanovski's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though they're... Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, continue. Oh, my God. Whoa! Holy. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts. King Eddie Alvarez back at it tonight. He turned pro back in 2003. Not afraid to get you out of there by knockout or submission. Most of his pro wins, though, have come by knockout or TKO. Eddie Alvarez, not afraid of the firefight. We'll see if that's what we get tonight. He throws all of himself into that kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Effective lead right hand there by Alvarez. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, lands a big left hand. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Alvarez is bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Just misses with the left hook. advantage you might as well use it nice job there to find a home for that gym well i'm no fighter but if i rock it to that extent i feel like i'm closing the show absolutely you gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad you cannot back off and pick your time he's right for the picking go and pick the fruit <laughs> oh misses with the jab man these guys have some chins on them huge shots being landed on both sides all right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. 15 seconds to go. Nice kick to the body. 
Oh. Second round, straight ahead. Oh. All right, heading back to the corner now, and Alvarez's corner has some work to do. They're gonna take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cup man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. Now, listen, guys. As long as it ain't like Jarzinho rolled the strike and I was the overall. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Nice uppercut. Liver kick. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Nice level. Uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Huge left hand. All right, so he's landed a few seminal uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to... Oh, oh, oh. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. on the elbow. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs. Great technique on the elbow. That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed. Round one, if it smelled funny.